And uh, just to, to you know, we have uh, memes from the, all of the parts of the, the flag. So the, the back of the flag is green. It's to represent the forest we have in Brazil, like the Amazon. And uh, the yellow part is to represent the gold you used to have in Brazil some centuries ago. But Portugal uh, take all of this from us. And uh, the blue part represents sky in Brazil. And uh, the, the white part in the middle is to represent peace. And uh, this, the stars, it's to represent all the states we have in Brazil. And uh, the little one uh, above the, the white piece alone, it's to represent the federal street because it's where we have our capital, Brasilia. And uh, something about Brazil, uh, this is Brazil. And uh, we have uh, almost a half of the territory of the South America, so it's a big country. It's the fifth largest country in the world, so it's smallest than Russia. And, uh, but we have more people uh, living in Brazil than mm -hmm. Russia. It's 200 million people, it's a lot of people. And uh, in Brazil we have almost 7,500 kilometers of beach. So we have beach for everywhere off the coast. And uh, the beach in Brazil, it's something like a 40 or 45 degrees and sun all the day. And uh, it's a, a really nice place to spend all the day, just drink water and swim in, in the ocean. It's very nice. And uh, this is uh, just a little curiosity about Brazil. Uh, the first people we have in Brazil was the indigenous before the, the Portugal colonization. And now they represent less than 1% of our population. And the white people and brown people represent almost 100. So we are almost having not nothing more from Indians people. And uh, about the political US, it's, it's a picture from our president. And uh, th this is the palace of the, the president in Brazil and all of the governments. This is in Brasilia too. And uh, here it's, uh, I think, the the worst problem you have in Brazil, the social problem, it's the favelas. So here it's a picture you can see uh, in Sao Paulo, the buildings from the companies in the principal avenue of Sao Paulo, and very near you can see uh, the favelas. So it's the contrast we have in, in Brazil. And now I will show something about our city. So this is Sao Paulo. It's the biggest city we have in Brazil with something about, uh, around uh, 12 million people living there. And uh, this is a picture from the main uh, avenue you have. It's something uh, similar with the Moscow center, Moscow city, I'm not sure. So it's uh, just building up business. And uh, another picture just from the bridge. And here it's the picture of the favelas. And, and here, a little bit closer, just to so see, uh, this little house has something around uh, 10 or 15 people living inside, it's the poor families. So it's very, it's very dangerous to, to them live, live here, because they have a lot of problems like drug dealers and stuff like this. So every day die a lot of people inside the favelas. And it's a picture from here, I think you already see this, the Christ. And the mountain over there, it's Ponte Açúcar, it's very famous too. And around the Christ, we have the, the famous beach in Brazil, Copacabana in Ipanema. And here it's a picture from the night, so uh, Rio is a very beautiful city. It was uh, by plane, man, maybe. Yeah, probably. Something or helicopter. Yeah. And here is the sunset in Brazil. Uh, I I used to see more sun here in Moscow, but in my first week I didn't see any sun. But in Brazil, I have sun uh, every day of the year, and the sunset looks like this uh, almost every day. So it's it's very beautiful too. And here it's a picture from the beach, the Copacabana beach. It's the most famous in Brazil. Uh, at the new year, here we have. Uh, something 
female around uh, 2 million of people seen uh, fireworks in the ocean and they have, uh, I don't know, 20 million of fireworks in Copacabana so it's very beautiful to see and here is a picture from Ipanema Beach, it's famous too and uh, this is the, the worst problem in Rio it's very beautiful but we have the biggest favela in the Brazil, it's called Rocinha and I think it's worse than in Sao Paulo because it's in the mountain so uh, it's sometimes uh, in the rain station we have a lot of grouses falling down there so there are a lot of people too and it's uh, a big problem in Brazil and this is the capital of Brazil, Brasilia and uh, the city was designed by a famous architect in Brazil called Oscar Niemeyer and uh, when he designed the city he drew a map to looks like an airplane or a bird so you can see the map of Brazil it's like this and uh, Oscar Niemeyer liked too much to uh, do uh, some circles and arcs in, the, in his buildings so it's, it's a church, it's a very different church you can see the, the, the arcs, it's normal see stuff like this in Brazil so this is the palace and you have the circles here too and uh, one bridge designed for him too and uh, here it's the Iguazu Falls in Brazil it's very famous around the world too so it's a picture from the top and uh, here I, I, I'm not sure about the strong of the water but it's very dangerous and people used to do right cross sports there so it's not safe and uh, this is a, a city it's not so famous around the world but in Brazil it's very famous uh, it's Florianópolis it's in the south of Brazil and uh, it's famous by the, the river crossing the city in two parts and famous because of the beach too it's uh, have a lot of beautiful beach there and this is uh, an island we have in Brazil uh, it's at the northeast and uh, it's, it's curiosity because in this island uh, you, even if you are Brazilian you need a visa to get in so it's not like a private island but it's very beautiful you can see some pictures it's very different from the things you have here in Brazil and uh, in this in this ocean we have uh, a lot of uh, species of animals so it's quite normal that people dive in there and uh, you can see in the internet some pictures uh, under the water it's it's very amazing it's very different and here it's the Amazon the the biggest forest we have in the around of the world I think and uh, the biggest river so this is the Amazon River and it's continuous from a lot of kilometers. And uh, inside the Amazon, you can see a lot of different animals, so like the chicken, the jaguar, but just in the forest, so you don't see this in Sao Paulo or in Rio. So. And uh, this is a symbol from Brazil too. Uh, that Macau was the, the symbol of the, the, the movie called Rio. I don't know if you saw, you know? Yeah. So it's this one. And uh, this is not a beautiful animal. It's looks like me, kind of weird, but uh, it's a sign of Brazil too, we have this in, in one of the, our money, and, but it's different. And I already said something about the weather, so in Brazil it's now something around 35, 40 degrees in my city, and uh, because it's summer now, but in the winter it's not so different, you have something around the, uh, in my city 12, 15 degrees, in the south of Brazil, minus two, nothing like this. And the religion, I already said some things too. And uh, this is important because uh, the most of people think in Brazil we speak Spanish, but we don't speak Spanish, we speak Portuguese. Uh, it's a similar uh, language, but uh, I can't understand uh, a Spanish speaker if he, he speaks faster. So uh, in my hostel, I'm living with uh, five Colombian guys and when they are talking with each other I can't understand anything because it's too fast and it's you 
have a lot of difference from Portuguese. Mm -hmm. But uh, if they speak slowly, sometimes I can understand some things. And this is about the music in Brazil. It's very different from music here too. Uh, I think the most of the people uh, are new here uh, likes rock. So I think it's normal here. No? Rock. Rock. No, so some groups. No? Okay. But, uh, in Brazil it's normal too, but this is the, I don't know, the, the, the kinds of music it's uh, have a Brazilian uh, mark, something like this. Uh, I don't know if you're ever seen something like this, but Samba, Forró, Bossa Nova. Uh, Bossa Nova was famous by Vinicius de Moraes, Caetano de Veloso, who was singers in Brazil. And you have the Sertanejo too, uh, Michel Teló, uh, and Brazilian popular music. And it's kinds of music, it's very different from all the musicals around the world. And uh, about your money, the currency in Brazil, uh, it's called your real, and uh, just to you have a, a comparison, uh, one dollar works two, two reais and four cents, mm -hmm. and with one real you can buy something around fourteen rubles, mm -hmm. something like this. And this is the pictures of the the money in Brazil. We don't have uh, like uh, five thousand reais or a thousand reais. The the biggest one is 100, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is this person? woman? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's weird because we have this in, the, in our money from a long time. Uh, we changed the, the layout of the, the paper, I don't know, three or two times, and it's always this this guy, you know. and, uh, but in the, the other side we have uh, animals from Brazil, it represents, but uh, I don't know, he's not famous in Brazil, anyone know who is he? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have some money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my wallet is in my jacket. Maybe he just, he just I don't know, we can, we can look in the, we can Google it if you want. Yeah, there is. Yeah. I will see in, uh, in here about the football in Brazil. So this these guys was famous players. So this one is Pelé, he was famous in 70s and Romário uh, in 80s or 90s. And Ronaldo is a kind of famous until today. And Neymar is really famous now in Brazil, I don't know if you ever see him. Uh, but we don't don't have just football, so this is Ayrton Senna. He used to, to drive in the Formula 1, uh, I don't know, 15 or 20 years ago. And he was champion by two or three times. So he's very famous in Brazil until nowadays. And uh, we have Sander Senna too. Uh, in the last two Olympic Games, he championed a lot of competitions, so he is very famous in Brazil now. And uh, that's it. And in Brazil, we will have the World Cup FIFA this year, and the Olympic Games in 2016. Mm -hmm. So if you want to come to Brazil, come in this year, it will be good. And that's it.